Hey guys, Garrett here from Iowa's Pro today. I'm going to be unboxing the iFixit Business Toolkit today and show you guys what it comes with and everything like that. So let's get started. Alright, so as you guys can see, the iFixit shipping box comes with the famous iFixit logo. It says, you can fix it. Help us fix the world. So to open it, I'm going to take my keys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut the tape just like this. Alright, so now with the tape fully cut now, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to reposition this so my picture doesn't fall over. Alright, so it comes with a lot of bubble wrap right here. And a little shipping thing. And inside here, you guys can see that there is the fix the kit itself. Let me go and take this out. Let me just turn the box downward. I'm going to do this here. This thing is extremely heavy. Alright, so there is the fix the kit itself. See? Pretty big, actually. With the guy fix the stickers in the repair business toolkit. So let's take it out of the wrapper here. And there it is. I actually have lots of these stickers right here. Quite a few of them, actually. Which, let me show you guys here. Yes, See, I got a lot of these stickers here from I fix it from over the years of using their tools, like the ones I have right over there on the table there. All right, so ugh, here it is. This thing is about 12 pounds, so pretty heavy actually. Guys, so now I want to show you guys what comes in the iFixit business toolkit. This was $300 on iFixit. Pretty expensive, but still worth it. So now I'm going to open up the front compartment here. You guys, see, we get some tools right here, including down here. The basic driver set. So you can actually get this pretty cheap and I fix it just the basic driver itself. Including tri points, star screws, standoff bits, and other cool driver like that. They're all labeled as well, which is pretty nice actually. So let me put this back in here. Next, we get an anti -stat static mat. This is actually good for working with electronics, like where you get a lot of static buildup. Because sometimes if you get a static charge, if it discharges on the device, it could damage the logic board and all that. So they're really nice to have. There's even a little strap right here so you can ground yourself to like the any place you're working on so you won't get a static buildup. Next, we get a multimeter. This will allow you to measure how much power something's outputting. You can also use this not just for checking how much power a battery is outputting, but to see if a device has a shorted a component on it. A little trick I learned from a guy who repaired five different Xboxes or PS5 and stuff like that a while ago. Right. First videos, so I can learn how these things work. Here are the cables for the multimeter, instruction manual as well, and some batteries. I'll go over more about everything in here once I'm done showing you guys what it comes with. Now I'll do an in depth review later in the video about everything we get. Then we get this cool thing called an eye opener, which is basically you can put this in the microwave for like 30 seconds, then it heats up, allowing you to put it on your device to soften the glue. Now, if I actually had one, this was actually my very first iFixit tool ever. I got in 2017 after my Apple Watch broke, so really nice to see that again. So that is the front compartment. So now I'm gonna show you guys what's in the top compartment. This is where all the good stuff is. So in the top here, maybe hard for you guys to see that. So there it is. Let me go and reposition my camera so you guys see what's in the top and I'll come back when I'm done. Definitely reposition my camera to make it easy for you guys to see what's in here. First thing is we get a poster from iFixit called the Repair Manifesto. All right, got it. Type it. All right, so there it is, the Repair Manifesto. It's like a poster iFixit made with all their like cool sayings on here and all that. Here's the, something that does not make sense to me. If you can't fix it, you don't own it. I'm not sure why they say that, because if the person owns it, they can try to repair it. And some of them make mistakes and all that, but they can still own it as well. So pretty good, actually. I've got to figure out where to hang this on my wall. It's really nice to have. Put that over there. All right, so next thing we get is a digital caliper. This will allow me to measure the thickness of devices, glasses, like for the phones and everything like that. And I'll go over more what's in here after I show you guys what's in here. Next thing we get is one I've been waiting for, the ProTech Toolkit. I've been waiting for this for a while because this is actually their main toolkit. 
and all that, which is really nice. See, I get all the cool drivers and stuff like that. I'll go over more of this later. In the top here, let me just get this open here, we get the iFixit mat, just like this. Oh, nice. Like a little, like, place mat so you can put all your parts on. Very nice to have, very handy, actually. In here, we get some polyamide tape and some adhesive strips. Then the iFixit business re repair toolkit, like, promo thing. And down in here, we get another thing called the anti-clamp. This will allow us to open up the device and everything like that makes it easier for us to work with. Then we get some device cleaner, like screensaver. The, the magnetizer slash demagnetizer. And also in little compartments here, we get their like little badges here, the picks, the little pin. We also get the battery blocker to disconnect the battery from the device and logic boards. Nice. Yeah, these like spudger and picks in here are pretty sharp. Trust me about that one. I see they have those in there. There should be a card in here. Yeah, here it is. We get an iFixit card right there for like slicing through adhesive. We also get a few other things like suction cups and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is at all, like a little storage place. And a little dust blower here. So you can basically blow dust off your device of washing boards while you're repairing them. It's really nice, actually. And in here, we just get the spare tools and everything like that. All right, so now let me just move this off my table when I come back and I'm done. All right, guys, so I'm back, and as you guys see, here's everything we get in the iFixit Business Toolkit. And the one thing I forgot to mention is that the little back apartment in the toolkit can actually be removed with Velcro that sticks down to the bag, or carrying bag, it's really nice. We also get a box cutter in here too, which I'm not gonna use for this video because I need to learn how to safely use one of these. But when I was a kid, I learned the hard way while they're dangerous. So that's why I'm not gonna do, use it right now. I'm gonna learn how to use it properly before I do anything else, like after this video. We get an anti-static brush for cleaning off logic boards and all that. We also get some plastic picks for like, prime connectors. We also get some spare spudger as well. This one's nice, a hook spudger for like working with stuff in hard reach places. Really nice, a little grab hooks there. And some normal spudgers. I have a lot of these black ones, 100%, including these tweezers. You also get some metal tweezers, that says I fix it there, really nice. All right, so the one thing I wanna go over with you guys today, the one I've been waiting for the most, is the I fix it Protect Toolkit. So a little trick I learned when I was a kid, you can use keys to cut the tape. Like that. There's another one right at the bottom here. Give me a sec. Okay, there we go. So now it should come right out. Pull this. Okay, there we go. And there we go. There's the toolkit. Now I just, let me just move this stuff out of the way here for a second here. All right, let me aim this down. You can see when we open this up, there is the toolkit neatly packed in there. And we also get the owner's guide and some more I fix the stickers. I'm gonna be getting a lot of these today while looking at the stuff. So for now, that will go there. So when we open it up, you guys see it opens up into a nice little compartment array right here. We get a lot of nice stuff, including the driver bit, which the thing I've been looking forward to the most. You can see it's magnetic. There's some more gel stuff they include all the time. And there is our driver bit. What I like about this the most is that we get a metal screwdriver. This is made of metal. The ones I've been using, like the ones right over there, they're all plastic. It's nice to have something that's made of metal. And what I also like about this, they get a lot of drivers like don't don't usually get, including the magnet. This will allow us to pick up screws that accidentally fell on the floor, which is really handy. Believe me, I dropped a lot of screws in my in my day, including a few weeks ago actually. Nice to have this in the placement mat too. We also get an extension piece right here for like making the screwdriver longer. Nice to have as well for like hard to reach places like in the desktops and all that. It's also magnetic, see? I can place it down and it holds very strong in here. So the felt piece itself is magnetic, like the little carrying case here, including the lid. We also get suction cup right here. I have a lot of these by now because I've paired a lot of devices in my time. In 2017 is when I paired my very first device the original iPhone. 
in here, we get a little anti-static strap. This is to ground us to the table so the static charge doesn't go through us while we're working with electronic devices. Nice and handy. I'll just put it aside for right now. And we also get some other tools in here too, including the iFixit Pry tool right here. Yeah, that's really nice. I've seen these a lot in iFixit, but I've never had one Gen 1 from iFixit with a logo and all that. So I learned never use these on batteries. That's what I learned from repair device back in the day, because Billy, I accidentally punctured one once before in 2017 by using one of these. So that's why I always use the plastic card method to get it out. And another spudger tool right here. Interesting. I've never seen some of these tools before. The one that's most interesting to me is the crisscross spud my tweezers. This one's more interesting actually because it's crisscross, something I've never seen before in, in tweezers. Usually you push them to grip something, let go to open them. But this one's the reverse effect, see? Really interesting. You also get some curved tweezers in here as well. The straight tweezers in our guitar picks. I have all of those by now. So, all right, so it should have fold up like this. Yeah, so there we go. Let me just put it back in the box here. Next thing I wanna take a look at is the, is the digital caliper right here. Very interesting tool actually. Open this thing up. Comes in a nice little carrying container here. There's, yeah, I just clips the bottom here. You just pull it to release. And there it is, the digital caliper. The instructions on how to use this and all that. See, like the indicators of everything. All right, it's up and down. I've actually seen these before, like on repair videos, but I've never been able to use one. Oh, that's interesting. It comes with a watch battery you put in it. I'm not gonna turn it on right now just to save time, but I will take it out of the wrapper here. I have to admit, repair tools are very interesting to me. There's all the little diagram at the back here, it's very hard to see, like Woodworth, Metro, stuff like that little guide on what's, what, how you're supposed to read it. Oh yeah, so, oh, it comes with the battery pre-installed. So I'm not sure how to turn this on and off. I'll have to figure that out later. But basically, you turn this little knob at the top here, it loosens, then you can move it like this, see? It basically reads how far you move it. It's really interesting how that works. I'm not sure what these at the top are. Like, they look like little cutter blades, stuff like that. I'll have to figure that out later. All right, so that's the caliper. Put it back into a little case here. The next thing is the anti-magnetic mat, or fix -a mat I meant. And I got the tape off the fix -a mat box, and that was extremely tough. Toughest thing I've, I have ever worked with. So there's the outer shell of the box here. I'm gonna keep that as well. And there's, it should just come right out, like on the bottom here. Let's release this at the bottom. And there we go. There's the fix it mat. There's more that comes in here. Like the marker. It's the I fix it like manual right here. It talks about the revolution to repair. Right there. Pretty cool. So this is the I fix it mat. Sorry, it is getting kind of crowded here. So this is actually a magnetic mat. It's really nice. You can basically draw out the layout for which part goes where and hold them on here. It's really nice to have like little compartments here and all that including the, the screw identification. That's actually really nice because it's hard for me to tell what screw is what. So now I'm gonna, uh, it makes it easier. Including the device, project, the date, and the mat. It even have, it's also magnetic and ESD safe. And all that, really nice to have. So here's the marker. I'm not sure how, to, yeah, there we go, see? I can basically draw like a little plate for the 5S here. Best as I could. Now you just erase it, just like this, so it comes right off. It's basically a whiteboard marker, basically. Now, that is the fix it now. Let me go ahead and put this back in the box, so I'll come back when I'm done. All right, guys, so next thing I wanna show you today is the anti-clamp device opener. Makes screw removals easy, safe and easy. I'm gonna be doing this on my iPhone 5 today, which broke a couple days ago. The, basically, the software, it can no longer accept firmware, so that's why it's broken. Had 2011. No, had a good run. Okay, so here is the iFixit uh, anti-clamp box. Looks really nice. When you open it up, there is the tool with the instruction booklet, along with some more stickers right here. I'm getting a lot of those today. And here's the anti-clamp, just like this. So basically, 
we just pull it apart. Ugh, yeah, that can hurt sometimes. So basically it's telling you which way to turn them, turn this thing. It only turned like one way, I think. But now I'm gonna stick this between my phone here. Push this to the lock position. Now we just turn it like this. The screen should pop off. Yep, there we go. Just like that. And now the screen is now loose. Perfect. Now I'm gonna disconnect that both right here. And there it is. The iPhone 5 is now opened. Just like that. So that is the anti-clamp. Here is the digital caliper that comes with the fix kit I'm not sure how to use this. We got a lot of settings here. See, I already put the battery in. So now to the volts. So yeah, I'm not sure a lot of this stuff means on the multimeter does DC. I do know that. Now I have it set to milliamp. So I'm not sure where AC is on here. Yep, there we go. That's AC, the second one's DC, and this milliamp hours. Now I'm gonna have to figure this out later, but you can see where everything connects here. Really interesting. All right, so that is the multimeter. Got some other options here too, like max. And stuff like that. And when you turn it off, it resets it. Next up, we have the heavy duty suction cups for my fixer. I'm not sure exactly how to use this, so I'm still kind of new with this. So a little lever to control the suction. That's nice, actually. Now, I'll still use the anti-clamp to do that opening. Oh, nice. So we got a little thing we take off the bottom here. That's number one. This is number two. This is basically to protect it from, like, not, not like, sticking stuff. I'm not sure exactly how it works. See, when I move the lever, it separates it. When we move down, it pushes it back down. Really interesting. Those are the suction cups. And this is a little dust blower. You squeeze it, and it basically introduces air which blows dirt particles off the logic boards and phones before you close it up. Nice to have. Then we have the iFixit card for slicing through battery adhesive. Basically, when you open it up here, you guys see we get two little cards. Yeah, they're nice, high quality cards. Repair is noticeable. iFixit. Nice cards. So now I have much more durable card for slicing through battery adhesive, especially on the, on the iPads. Nice. Then we have the iFixit demagnetizer and remagnetizer. It is actually good for dealing with screwdri screwdrivers that are not magnetic. Really nice. I'm not sure exactly how this works. What I do know is if you put magnetic forces together that cancel each other out, it demagnetizes. That's all I know. A little magnetizer or just a power of a magnet that magnetizes something. I'm not sure exactly how this works. There's like no real video on how these things work, like how how they work internally. I know it's just all magnet based inside. Really interesting actually. Then we have the little poly tape, general electric tape, purple electrical tape. So this is basically what you put around wires and stuff like that to, pro to keep them protected for damage, I think. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but that's why I know it's for. Then we got some adhesive tape right here, just like that. This is very, very thin adhesive. Basically it's two millimeter wide tape right there. I haven't had to use adhesive recently, but it will come in handy. We also have the battery blocker. This is what you use to stick it between contacts on batteries to disconnect them from the device's logic board. Really nice to have. Then we got the little picks for opening. Got a lot more of these now. They gave us a lot of duplicates, but I don't mind that because it's good to have spares. But yeah, I've broken a lot of tools by doing the device repairs. It got worn out. We also got a little patch for basically ironing on to clothing and to show that you guys support I fix it. Then we got a little pin as well. A little nice gold pin. I haven't seen a pin this tiny before. I've seen the large ones, but never this tiny. Also nice to have. The last thing I'll take a look at is the anti-static mat. I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging because I don't have the space right now. But it says here, prevents EFD damage during repairs. So that means you don't get a static charge going on to your device and damaging stuff. Now, so that's good to know. All right, and we also got the iFixit screen cleaner as well. Really, really nice thing to have. So I don't have like a, like a cleaning cloth at the moment, but I'll have to find one. 
you know, really nice to have there. All right, so that is the iFixit Business Toolkit unboxing and review. So I have to admit, I like the driver kits that came with the toolkit. I like these ones especially. The anti-clamp and the ProTech toolkit in the magnetic mat are my three main ones I like the most. Really awesome to have. I also like their carrying case as well. They, they give us to store our tools in. Very nice. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up for my video. Peace out.